Thank you, Johan. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, James. Thank you, Mael. So hello guys, I'm here to discuss the background information of Colosseum. So Colosseum was also called as Flavian Amphitheater. Construction of the Colosseum was begun sometime between 70 and 72 CE during the reign of Vespasian. It is located east of the Palatine Hill on the grounds of what was Nero's Golden House. The structure was officially dedicated in 80 CE by Titus in a ceremony that included 100 days of games in 82 CE. Domitian completed the work by adding the uppermost story. The Colosseum, the Colosseum is a freestanding structure of a stone and concrete, using a complex system of barrel boats and grown boats. In medieval times, the Colosseum was used as a church, then as a fortress by two prominent Roman families, the Fragipane and the Annibaldi. Colosseum is an elliptical shaped building with a short axis of 156 meters and a long one of 188 meters. It's 250 meters high, 190 meters long, and 156 meters wide. The structure of the Colosseum was built in several different materials. Travertine blocks were used for load-bearing pillars, external walls, stairs, and radial walls that were constructed from blocks and bricks of tufa. The Colosseum could accommodate between 50,000 and 80,000 spectators. It had 80 entries and exits. The public seating was divided based on a social class. It was divided in five sectors, which were separated by the corridors. The seats closest to the arena were reserved for senators. The knights and other social categories occupied the upper stands, while the highest sector, also known as Summa Cavia, was intended for the plebs. I'm Prince Asimeko. My task is to discuss the trivia of the Colosseum Rome in Italy. Let's start. First, the real name of the Colosseum, it was originally known as the Flavian Amphitheater, named after the Flavian dynasty of emperors. It was built by Emperor Basai Pian, a founding member of the Flavian dynasty. Second, a reign of death. Because of its gladiator games, it is estimated that over 400,000 people and over a million wild animals died during the century that the gladiator games took place. Third, it was called the largest amphitheater in the world. And fourth, the foundation. It is built with the, the stone and concrete. With the this splendid monument was built with the manpower of 10,000 Jewish slaves. Natural disaster and vandalism destroyed approximately two-thirds of the Colosseum. It underground world. While it is certain that a lot of what went on the Colosseum was underhand and definitely dangerous, there is also the little underground areas in the Colosseum known as Mitergeum. It was two levels of the Rainian network of tunnels with 32 animal pens. There are also 80 vertical shafts which allowed for instant access to the arena. These are used for shifting animals and sceneries during show. Now, Let's proceed to the reasons why we chose this architectural building. First, it is one of the most historic structures in the world. Our group decided to choose an architectural building associated in the ancient period because we can easily find information about it. We came to a decision of picking from one of the historical architectures in the world and Colosseum was the one who caught our attention. Colosseum is one of the most historic structures in the world. It is a giant amphitheater built in Rome under the Flavian emperors. The second reason is it is the largest amphitheater in the world. We are fond of watching performances, entertainments, sports, and many more. And Colosseum is the largest amphitheater in the world. We chose this architectural building because we want to dig deeper and we want to know more about this one. And the third reason is it symbolizes power and cruelty. 
we all know how cruel our world can be at this time. And we want an architectural building that is merely similar to it, or it also experienced cruelty. And Colosseum is the one that fits perfectly. Because behind those serried ranks of arches and columns, Romans for centuries called doggedly killed literally thousands of people whom they saw as criminals, as well as professional fighters and animals. And last, the main reason why we chose this architectural building is simply because it has the conic sections of ellipse and parabola which is the main focus of this virtual presentation. I will be explaining the conic sections that we can find in this Colosseum. We can find ellipse and parabola in this structure. So, why is the Colosseum is elliptical? In mathematical reasons, the ellipse is the ideal figure to ensure the best distribution and amplification of the sound throughout the theater. This will help in avoiding the focal points. If these points place inside the space, there will be no echo that will generate. Ellipse also generates the heliarchus in the way people were sitting and looking at the emperor. It achieves a balance of the central and bilateral geometries. It enables them to build a stadium with, uh, with more seats and to allow everyone a good view of the events. Now, I am going to explain why there is so many parabola in the Colosseum. We all know that art is in the shape of the parabola. An art is an architectural form that controls the pressure from the weight of a building in a specific way. The art directs pressure downwards and outwards, creating a strong passage underneath it that has the ability to support heavy structures. This is called compressive stress, because the pressure of the weight is compressed by the shape of the arc. Because the stress is directed both downwards and outwards, walls or other structures were often required to reinforce the arc. The arc allowed ancient builders to make larger and more complex buildings that could hold more space and people. The Colosseum largely built using arches. It was designed by the Plebeian emperors to convince the people that their emperor cared about them. When an emperor has been victorious in war, he commissioned a triumphal arc that all of his troops would march at their feet and there to officially declare their victory to the city. This is the aerial view of Coliseum, the side view of Coliseum, the bottom view of the Coliseum, the exterior of the Coliseum, and lastly, the interior of the Coliseum. In conclusion, the Coliseum, or also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, is a large amphitheater in Rome that was built sometime between 70 and 72 CE. It was built as a gift for the Roman people. The Colosseum measures approximately 189 by 156 meters or 620 by 530 feet. Tower is a four-story high that includes 80 entrances to the amphitheater. 76 of it was for the patrons, two for the participants of the event, and two more for the emperors to use. The Colosseum can hold mainly 50,000 spectators or more as its maximum capacity. There are four types of conics in the conic sections. There are parabolas, ellipses, circles, and hyperbolas. We see them every day but we just don't notice them. They appear everywhere in the world and can be man-made or natural. This architectural structure contains ellipse and parabola as its conic section. As mentioned earlier, the reason why the Colosseum is elliptical is because the ellipse is the ideal shape for ensuring that the sound is amplified and distributed evenly throughout the theater. It is also mentioned that the Colosseum contains parabolas or arc. The arc directs pressures downwards and upwards, resulting to a strong passage beneath that is capable of supporting heavy structures.